We completed the purchase of Old Chapel Farm on the 9th of September 2016, and so began the creation of New Chapel Farm in partnership with our Father God. Lots of friends came up and prayed at the farm that following week, including some prayer of repentance for former sin that may have occurred there. This was part of the process of healing the land and consecrating it for God. The next day we were met with this wonderful sight across the farm. The rainbow being a sign of God's mercy and forgiveness. So, to give you a brief tour of the outside. This is us trying to control the drone, not very successfully, although we didn't crash into any of the high voltage cables over the property. We're going to relocate the poles and cables so they don't spoil the view or the drone. This is a large ash tree, believed to be more than 100 years old, at the bottom of what we call the pond meadow. The pond is just to the left there, with various other trees. We'll skip past the neighbouring bungalow, and here is the main farmhouse dating back to 1720. The Old Chapel ruins are in a wonderful setting, in a smaller meadow with some great sunrises to be seen. This is the pond meadow again, with the big ash tree at the bottom on the right and farmers' fields surrounding the area. Swinging around, here are the chapel ruins again, dating back to about 1100. The outbuilding to the left of the ruins is the one that next year we're planning to convert to a new chapel, along with extra bedrooms. Here you can see the main farmhouse and some of the other outbuildings, along with what we call the walled garden although it is just grass at the moment. Part of our vision is to give nature a home, which is the motto of the RSPB. So it was lovely to see a whole load of house martins adjoin the sunshine on the roof. We've decided to have a monthly prayer session for New Chapel Farm on the 9th of every month, which is the anniversary of when we purchased the farm. The first one was on the 9th of October when we thanked God for New Chapel Farm and sought his blessing on the vision. That day we saw another rainbow across the farm. We've arranged for sheep to be placed in the pond meadow for a few weeks to eat their way through the grass and weeds. And in November there will be about 40 trees planted across the land. We've appointed an architect for the outbuilding conversion and he's about to submit the plans for that. We've also decided on the main builder for this work. The first lead retreat is planned in late November when we will be hosting a few Christians from Claire's Church at Work group with some prayer, praise and teaching about the Bible. Please do pray for us as we seek to follow God's leading that it is our Heavenly Father who determines our steps. The new Chapel Farm vision is becoming a reality.